Ding dong! Hey guys, what's going on? Well, I'm spending a fun-filled morning working on my doorbell. Here we are inside the house in the hallway looking at the doorbell. Sit right here. And got a problem. This doorbell has a bad button on it. I'm pretty sure the doorbell works, but we're going to put a new button on it see if we can get it working. We got a box up there. That's a box for the security system. I thought that was another doorbell at first, but it's not. So, got to get this thing going because today is Halloween and I'm giving out candy this evening and that doorbell has to work. So, uh, let's go take a look at what's going on outside here. Okay, if we come out to the front here, we've got a doorbell button which I've already taken loose from the house and you can see the outside part of the button is not in good shape it's all eroded away so these things are just pretty simple operation you got two wires at the back of it and all the button serves to do is just simply connect those two terminals those two wires so I've got a jumper wire here that I'm gonna hopefully maybe I can do it in one hand maybe not but I'm going to so as this traffic gets by, we can hear, I'm going to jump these two terminals for this and see if the doorbell works. Oh, I heard it. Hear it? Okay. Ding, ding. But the thing I noticed, though, is it sounds like sounds like that that doorbell is actually set up for the rear unless it's got just one chime in I'm gonna take the cover off but usually they have two different notes for the front door and one for the rear door so I'm wondering if it's got two uh, actually got two bells in it or just one it's probably the original to this house so it's an old one for sure okay well let's go ahead and put a new button on this thing pick the one up at the home improvement emporium just now and it looks pretty close to what's already on here so I'm hoping that the screws will just fit right in without any kind of extra BS involved in it and of course this is a nice made in China doorbell it's lit I'm sure this one was probably lit also but it ain't no more. Alright, so let's get that replaced and we'll get that part wrapped up. And well, I tell you what, good old Lyle's got Acura Fever. I was telling him yesterday, the day before, man, he's really got it. He's got that car going and he's got his other car going. And I think he made out pretty good on that Acura there. The guy thought it had a transmission problem. Lyle says he's been driving it and it's. <laughs> he says it seems to be doing good I think that's a jeep pickup coming down here if he doesn't turn down there oh that's a jeep actually Let's see what it is I'm making all that racket but uh it's our peak alright guys enough yakking so let's get the button on this thing and get ringing. Give us some candy. We want some candy. Candy. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that in there and see if I can get it to make two more than just one time. Okay, I got this thing ringing the right way now for the front door, and I'll show you what I did. I <sighs> came in here, turned the power off, of course, and I came in, and I finally got this front off this doorbell, and what had happened was, not only is it dirty, that has, it's probably something to do with this, it's not very loud, but, uh, 
what it was was on your doorbell like this you have three terminals you have one that's marked one one that's marked one one that's marked two and you have one that's marked T for the transformer that's your power supply so uh, anyway all it was was these these one and two terminals that's what controls where what rings what so if you had like a rear doorbell button which this house doesn't have uh, you could you would put on one terminal th for the rear and then the front one is the two terminal on this one so I just this this wire was here so I simply just took it off what's the deal with this camera took it off here switched it over there and it works fine now so that's all was to it so I'm gonna clean that thing out so it's a little bit I think it's got all that dirt on it it's accumulated over 40 four years 45 years and uh, it's muffled it. I'm going to clean that and then put the cover back on and be good to go. And they can wear this thing out tonight, hopefully. See ya. A 1982 movie played on a 1985 TV. That's pretty awesome. Well, okay, guys. It's 8 o'clock on Halloween evening, and I'm going to shut her down. So I'm going to... Turn off my light. Turn off my pumpkin. turnout got some candy left I had to dip into my bag of M&M's but most of the stuff I got left is what I like like the M&M's and the Hershey's miniatures and plus I've been uh, sampling out of my private reserve here of my miniatures <laughs> I like those the best so anyway, usually I don't do Halloween. I usually uh, either sit in here with the lights all turned off and hide until everybody stops knocking on the door, or I leave and go someplace. But I thought this year, you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be more of a participant, you know, because you think about it, it's not about me, it's not about us, it's about the kids, you know. I think back about when I was a kid when we went trick or treating, and I. I thought how much I enjoyed going to a house that was lit up and giving out candy and compared to the extreme disappointment I felt when you saw a house that had the shades pulled down, the lights turned off, and you couldn't get any candy. It just sucked. So anyway, I had a pretty good time at it. So a lot of neat costumes and stuff. So my doorbell hung right in there. It got a hard workout in there, but it's... Uh, did good. I, I I think the split between knocks on the door and the doorbell were about 50-50. Uh, there of course there were a few that rang the doorbell over and over and over till I got there. Even though I just had to go from the chair over to the door. <laughs> but anyway, did well. So I'm glad I got that going. And so you anyway, know, like I said, it's about eight o'clock, and I hadn't had a customer for about 25 or 30 minutes so I think it's safe to say this will be it for the night and what's funny about this is last year it rained a little bit on Halloween evening and even though there was no lights on and I was in here hiding out I still got all kinds of door knocks 
earlier in the evening and then this this time around it was like it got off to a late start but then it was pretty intense when it was going so and yes i did have an adult trick-or-treat here somebody in her 40s but i gave him candy and there's adults trick-or-treat for somebody else which was explained to me as well so anyway i had a good time so i noticed that lyle over here pulled a gtfo he left he bailed out but he's back now i think i saw his car leave but his dogs were there that's a good thing they maintained a position at the fence out there and i think as much as they barked and got stressed out they're probably gonna have to go into counseling after this to get over it or get on tranquilizers or something i think the grinch across the street didn't give any candy out either so yeah so i was glad to so now i have to do something with all this candy <laughs> i'll figure something out thanks for watching guys so i guess we'll see you in another video happy happy halloween 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 happy happy halloween silver shamrocks <laughs>